In this presentation, we will take a look at the worksheet we will be using for a comprehensive corporate problem. We're going to have a for more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Corporation, a fairly simple corporation that will go through the process of setting it up for the first month of operations, including the issuance of the stock including some transactions for the first month of operations. Then we'll go through the adjusting process, the financial statements, and the closing process. We will go through this in a piece-by-piece -piece format, first working on the types of journal entries that we will have. Once this has been completed, we will then be posting these journal entries to our general ledger, the general ledger over here. And this worksheet can be intimidating. We're going to practice moving around the worksheet as well. The worksheet's pre-formatted, so we don't need to really do any formatting to it. We just need to do addition, subtraction, and some simple reference formulas to work through this problem. Once we enter this data into the general ledger, it'll create the trial balance for us and give us an idea of the assets, liabilities, and equity. We can see the finished result here. It's going to look something like this. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that we can see this. We're going to enter these journal entries here so we'll put all of our journal entries here we will post them so for example let's take this journal entry where is that going we can say well it's going there and this one is going there so we can see it, it posted to cash and the cash at the end of the day will be used as 36,100 to make the trial balance and the other side is going over here to the accounts payable and the accounts payable at the end of the day is being used to make the trial balance so this, again, looks intimidating because it's going to be a long worksheet. However, we're just going to do this one journal entry at a time. And by the end of this, we'll get to uh, this full uh, page here. So we'll just pick this up one, one journal entry at a time, posting the journal entry or entering the journal entry into the general journal. Then we'll post it to the general ledger and we'll check that we're in balance at each stage of the game. How do we know? Well, we can see our trial balance here is in uh, assets in green, liabilities in orange the equity and light blue, and then the income and statement, which includes revenue and expenses in the dark blue. We have the debits in positive numbers and the credits in negative numbers here, and that really simplifies our formula. So I'm going to argue that when using Excel that that's often useful. Why? Because it allows us just to have one column to do a lot of simple calculations. For example, how do I know the debits equal the credits? Well, instead of having two columns, I can just sum this up and we can say, okay, it sums up to zero, meaning the debits minus the credits equal zero. That saves a lot of time from a formula standpoint, gives us a really quick check here to see that that's zero. We can also calculate net income much more easily. We can just say, okay, the net income is revenue minus expenses. Rather than me having pluses and minuses down here for debits and credits, we, we could just say, well, it's the credits, the, the revenue, minus all the expenses, which are debits. So the negative number of a credit minus the positive number of debits so again simplified formula if we use if we use that setup a little bit to get used to but uh, it's a lot easier to work within excel if we set up things in that format uh, once we get this all done this will be like the day-to-day -day transactions we will have this is really what the accounting department does most of the time they will often do it in the format of accounting software but uh, this is what the software is doing. We're going to be entering this data input in some format or another in order to uh, post to the general ledger and create a trial balance, which will then be used to make financial statements. Once we have this, we're going to take this trial balance here. We're going to move to the second tab, do the adjusting entries. Now, the adjusting entries are typically done at the end of the time period. They're always done at the end of the time period. In this case, the end of the month. And what we're going to do is take these types of accounts that typically need adjustments just as part of the normal accounting process and make the adjustments to them. We'll do that in a worksheet format. Worksheet format meaning we're going to take what we had in the prior tab and call it unadjusted. Then we'll do our adjustments here in a middle column rather than going to the general ledger so that we could see very quickly what the result is. That's the advantage of a worksheet. If there's only a few things happening, we don't need an, an entire GL tri, uh, general ledger to show us the detail of what's happening because there's only what five journal entries here so it's better that this way to just see it straight up in a, in a nice little middle column here that'll give us exactly what we started with what the change is what the ending balance is 
and we can easily then see the effect on net income, for example, um, in this type of format. So this is a typical format used for adjusting entries. Once we have this done, we'll take the adjusted trial balance, which is now as close to a perfect accrual basis as we can get it, use it to make the financial statements. So here's the financial statements tab. And uh, we'll take this and we'll just take this trial balance, which is just the end result, the adjusted trial balance. And we'll make our balance sheet from it, our income statement, and the statement of stockholders equity. And then finally, once we have that, we're going to take uh, this information, the adjusted trial balance, get ready for the next time period. This is the end of the time period here. This is us um, having completed our process. What the accounting department does is geared towards this financial statement creation and then we'll go to the final tab here which is the closing process and that's the process of us doing our journal entries in order to close out the temporary accounts and those include all income statement accounts and uh, in this case the draws account we're going to close those out to retained earnings resulting in a post closing trial balance where all temporary accounts all income statement accounts and that draws account are now zero we only have permanent accounts we only have balance sheet accounts we're really ready to count forward with regard to income and expenses so this will be the comprehensive problem uh, we'll go through and again we'll go through it in a step-by-step -step process for more accounting information and accounting courses visit our website at accountinginstruction.info